The word Shoah in modern Hebrew means catastrophe. It is a noun associated with the Holocaust and the title of Claude Landsman's exploration of the subject. Without the use of recreated scenes or archive footage, Claude Landsman sets out to create one of the most ambitious documentaries, a film with a running time of nine hours regarding one of the most historic and upsetting atrocities. The film focuses on interviews with multiple people across the planet, ranging from first-hand experiences recollected by survivors of the Holocaust, from ex-SS and Nazi war criminals, secretly filmed by Landsman and his film crew from a van outside of the interview location, from eyewitness accounts by people unaware they were contributing to such a disturbing end for so many people. The film is detailed in its use of interviews, asking interviewees intimate and revealing questions regarding their knowledge of the orders they were forced to fulfil and to what reason they were made to follow those orders, or their experiences of losing loved ones during the Holocaust. Stuart Liebman's introduction to the book Claude Landsman's Shoah Key Essays states that he would record some 350 hours of wrenching testimonies, many providing details about this painful history that had never before been revealed. He then faced the arduous task of condensing and shaping his vast array of diverse materials into a form that might somehow communicate to an audience something of the degradation and horror experienced by millions of innocents. Claude Landsman's experience with the film after gathering such personal information from many interviewees came to the inevitable task of editing the film. But how can such a film be edited? In Adam Benzine's documentary Claude Landsman Spectres of the Shoah, Claude Landsman reveals that the filming and editing process, as well as the pressure from colleagues expecting Landsman to finish his film, took an intense emotional toll on him that he contemplated suicide. Landsman's film took 11 years to complete. Despite the struggles to create this film, it is a landmark achievement. Landsman shows an intelligence as an interviewer in gathering information from his interviewees. Some interviews are too uncomfortable to continue with, yet respectfully, Landsman encourages the interviewee to continue revealing information about the subject because we must know exactly of the horrors that took place. The viewing experience requires a dedicated audience. The viewing experience is neither an easy or comfortable one. Shoah reveals much about the Holocaust that is disturbing and upsetting. Claude Landsman motivated interviewees to not shy away from particularly difficult details, a method of encouraging the interviewee to reveal more information without pressuring them. Experiences such as a Jewish barber who shaved the heads of people entering the gas chambers, later describing their cries, is devastating, especially when the barber finds it difficult to continue with the interview as he works in his barber shop. Another experience recounted by a train driver, he was aware of the transporting of people in his carriages, but unaware as to why. A similar experience is recounted by managers of the rail line, aware of the schedules their trains needed to meet, but not entirely aware of the reasoning why. In conclusion, Shoah attempts and succeeds in revealing the most uncomfortable details about the Holocaust. It is an important film that details and chronicles survival experiences and recollections in a manner that is respectful to the interviewee. With his film, Landsman highlights the turmoil that has followed people decades after experiencing such an atrocity. It is not an easy viewing experience, however, it should be an essential one.